Silverfast 8.8 .8 Job Manager in Silverfast AI Studio. Copy and paste settings. Welcome to this episode of Silverfast 8.8 .8 Job Manager on how to copy and paste settings. We have set up our scanner with 12 35mm slides and have already applied a pre-scan. Currently, we only have one single scan frame covering almost the whole area of the flatbed. First thing we want to do is frame each slide in our holder individually. We go to Frame, Find Frames, and Slide 35mm Holder. As you can see, the frame finding algorithm in Silverfast has detected all 12 slides in our holder nicely. Let's open the Job Manager. The Job Manager has automatically created an entry for every single frame in our pre-scan area. First, we want to apply some settings on the first frame in our holder to copy and paste them to all the frames in our Job Manager afterwards. Let's select the first frame and zoom in. In our example, we want to perform a batch scan of 12 slides from our archive. We will leave the bit depth setting to 24 bit. We will keep the quality preset at 300 ppi. And in the export settings here, we will enter a desired output size of 11 inches. While the output height will follow the ratio of the scan frame automatically to 7.41 inches. Additionally, the software set the resolution slider automatically to 2400 ppi, which is the optimum calculated scan resolution for the chosen output size. We will apply the image automatic. Also, we will apply some automatic unsharp masking. Additionally, we want the hardware based dust and scratch removal ISRD to save us hours and hours of having to manually retouch any impurities on the final scan in Photoshop. Lastly, we will activate multi-exposure to capture the whole dynamic range of our originals. These will be the settings in our example. So let's zoom out and move over to the Job Manager and select the first frame, which includes the settings we will now copy and paste to all entries in the Job Manager. Click on the Copy and Paste Settings icon in the first entry to open its menu with three submenus for the Filter Settings, the Advanced Settings, and the Scan Dimension Settings. As you can see, the Job Manager has already activated the filter settings we have applied to our first frame. And we also want to make sure that our Advanced Settings are also selected and pasted to all the entries in our job manager. So we tick positive mode and very important, apply image automatics. The other two are already selected. We will leave the scan dimension settings alone. They're already selected correctly. Click apply to all. And as you can see in the pre-scan area, the job manager has copied all the selected settings from our first frame and pasted them to all the frames and entries in the job manager. Finally, we will start our batch scan job by clicking the Start icon. We are prompted with the Save As dialog to select the target directly for our final scans. Below, we will choose a name, sequential numbering, and start index for the file names of our final scans. The Scan button will start our batch scan job immediately. Last but not least, here's an awesome tip to monitor the job manager, even if you're on the road, via the iOS app Silverfast Job Monitor. The app comfortably shows the progress of our jobs that are currently processed in Silverfast on the iPhone or iPad in real time and is available through the App Store from Apple. Thanks for watching.